rocks to quasars, science has discovered a vast range of laws that seemingly govern the functioning of the external world. Discovery of these laws has paved the way for dazzling technological progress in just the last three centuries. inanimate objects, how we come to exist as feeling beings remains the most engaging and deepest of all mysteries. Is science any closer to solving this mystery? With the advent of electronic digital computers in the 1950s, there arose a field called artificial intelligence, which hopes to convert programmed machines into intelligent beings. This attempt to make thinking machines has not been without controversy. Several philosophers and computer scientists have argued against the possibility or even the advisability of producing thinking machines. Yet, there are other researchers who feel that machines can think. Arguments from both sides have remained inconclusive. Those who argue that machines cannot think are confronted by an ever-increasing range of artificially intelligent systems that deliver some level of impressive performance. Despite such technological progress, behavior in the true creative sense remains beyond the reach of machines. To see why, consider how we understand natural language. Given a sentence, I saw the man on the hill with a telescope. Most of us would understand it this way. Yet, there are other possibilities. The sentence could mean, I saw the man on the hill with a telescope. Or else it could mean, I saw the man on the hill with a telescope. Yet another possibility is, I saw the man on the hill with a telescope. And finally, it may well be that the speaker was merely recollecting. Just now the way you have learned these possible meanings, a computer cannot. Can machines think? The issue is obviously not cut and dry. There has been some progress in reproducing mechanical aspects of our behavior, but little or no progress when it comes to truly creative behavior, leading to desperation even amongst AI researchers. It is disquieting to a growing number of AI researchers that the fundamental question of their field is so slippery. Many of them ask, why is it so difficult to elicit intelligent behavior from machines? Is it poor engineering, overly ambitious goals, or is there something fundamental that puts the goals beyond our reach? The idea that machines can think and the notion that living beings are not machines, can the two be made compatible? The ancient Vedic literatures of India say, yes. According to the Vedas, there are three aspects to living beings. The gross body, the subtle mind, and pure consciousness. Both the gross body and the subtle mind, being material, can be mechanized. But consciousness, being non-material, is beyond. 